that's how I got to know that Bill Trailer was somebody. You know, really, really somebody. Bill Trailer is a unique American artist who stood with feet planted in two different worlds, one rural, the other urban. Trailer was born into slavery in 1853 on a cotton plantation in Alabama. He was about 12 years old when the Civil War ended, and he continued working as a farm laborer until the late 1920s. Then, aging and alone, he moved to Montgomery, where he worked doing shoe repair and other odd jobs in the segregated black business neighborhood. But in his late 80s, Bill Trailer began to draw. And in those final years of his life, Bill Trailer created an amazing body of work that has lifted him to be remembered as one of the most celebrated self-taught artists ever. Now maybe you've heard of Bill Trailer, but for those of you who haven't, that's why I'm making this movie. I want to bring to light the spirit of an artist whose life spanned from slavery to the Great Migration and beyond. His work was featured in the exhibit Black Folk Art in America at the Corcoran Gallery of Art in 1982. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Wolf. I'm an editor and director. I have a real passion for telling stories, especially ones about self-taught artists. My first documentary was about the artist James Castle. That film was able to bring a lot of attention to Castle's art and life. But Bill Trailer's life is another incredible story that needs to be told. The film I'm making about him is scheduled to premiere in September 2018 at the opening of a retrospective of his work at the Smithsonian's landmark exhibit, Between Worlds, The Art of Bill Trailer, organized by Leslie Umberger. Bill Trailer, Chasing Ghosts, strives to broaden our understanding of this period of transformation. A time when black people prospered as professionals in Montgomery in spite of living through the fear and volatility of a Jim Crow South. Writer Fred Barron and I have already filmed at the plantation outside of Benton, where Bill Trailer was raised and worked for nearly 50 years. We traced his steps through the streets of Montgomery, taking in many of the views that he would see daily. When I saw those pictures on the wall, I asked Aunt Issa who drew them, and she said, I asked Aunt Issa, did the child draw those pictures? She said her father drew them. I'm the great-granddaughter of Bill Trailer. My father was the grandson of Bill Trailer. Clement Trailer was my father. He was a folk artist before the world understood that there was any such thing. Someone who grew up and lived in a rural black South that was disappearing, yet still lived in his memory and his imagination. I hope you'll come along and be a partner on this remarkable journey. Please help make Bill Trailer's life and art be remembered. Thank you.